Okay, the APM is no longer being sold, so I had to switch to the Pixhawk, so I got two of them. This is the main Pixhawk autopilot. It's the replacement for the APM autopilot. We can't get parts for them anymore, so forced to switch. This is an arm safety indicator button. This is a piezo buzzer. It makes all sorts of different noises depending on what's going on from low battery to no GPS, whatever. I might just unplug the darn thing, who knows. Uh, I don't have it attached right now, but the uh, on-screen display attaches to this connector instead of going in a Y connector with the telemetry radio like on the APM uh, 2.5 and 2.6 uh, this is your normal voltage slash current meter for reading those inside the autopilot this is a PTOT tube and airspeed sensor uh, to sense airplane airspeed, calculate ground speed, everything after you can get airspeed. That is tied into a breakout board that the Pixhawk can do that the APM 2.5 2.6 could not and goes into the data port for well, four different sensors. I could add two more. Uh, this is the GPS slash compass. It plugs into that same board for the compass magnetometer and plugs in here for the GPS portion. Uh, I guess that's about all I can say about them. They're a little smaller than before. Ah, this one cable back here. There is only one input to this autopilot. So when you hook up your RC receiver to this autopilot, you have to do one of two things. You have to have a PPM converter to convert your 4 to 16, 18 channel RC receiver, most of them are 8 channel RC receiver into a single signal or if like on the Futaba and other radios it has a PPM or S bus out already all you have to do is hook the S bus into this one cable uh, pretty neat this gives you um, up to 16 uh, servos or servo ports for different functions at that point. I think the Hawk goes even higher inside. It does have some external ports here, but it also has to have only one input signal from the RC receiver inside the plane. So you got to watch that one on this. They did away with the parts for my 2.6. I had to move up. There's also a SD card inserted in this end. USB ports here. Much easier to get to. Works much better. Connectors. They're supposed to be new. Work better. Break less. Mine are currently a little tight, although I have gotten them in a couple of times in and out without any problems. Who knows about the how those connectors are going to work out. They were very bad in the 2.5 and the 2.2. Everything over here is just a duplicate of what I've just told you about the other one. I just went ahead and got two, one for each airplane right now. So I have two Pixhawks and two 2.6 APM autopilots right now. 
I do have an on-screen display for this one. On for this one is on order. It should be shipped today. Let's see if we can get some airplanes flying. Oh, I did want to say I've been uploading and downloading um, code in and out of these. These go so much faster than the APM, it isn't even funny. There's a secondary reason that I moved to these so quickly. There's a algorithm for calculating your space and time position that the old APM 2.5 and 2.3 can't do. I'm not going to get into the complexity of that algorithm. I may send you the name of it, but that's about it. But this, these two can use that algorithm in place of what's been used all along in uh, autopilot technology over the past few years. Another bleeding edge probably, but I'll get her done.